Good evening, medical students. Today, we will delve into the fascinating world of cell biology and specifically focus on the intricate mechanisms of cell adhesion. Cell adhesion plays a crucial role in various physiological processes, including tissue development, immune response, and cancer metastasis. Through this detailed script, we will explore 12 key topics that shed light on the complexity of cell adhesion. So, let's dive in. Cadherins are transmembrane proteins that serve as the adhesive links between neighboring cells. These proteins form calcium-dependent homophilic interactions, creating strong connections. Cadherin molecules interact with the cytoskeleton via associated proteins, such as catenins, leading to the formation of adherins junctions. Adherins junctions contribute to tissue integrity and allow cells to transmit mechanical forces. Integrins, a family of transmembrane receptors, connect cells to the extracellular matrix, ECM, proteins, such as fibronectin and laminin. Integrins play a vital role in cell migration and regulate various signaling pathways, including focal adhesion kinase, FAK, and rho GT passase. They can switch between a low and high affinity state, promoting dynamic cell matrix interactions. Tight junctions are specialized structures found at the apical side of epithelial cells. These junctions limit the movement of solutes and ions between cells and maintain the integrity of epithelial barriers. Occludin, claudins, and junctional adhesion molecules, jams, are key components of tight junctions. These proteins regulate paracellular transport and prevent the penetration of pathogens. Desmosomes are cell-cell junctions responsible for strong mechanical coupling between cells. Desmoglanes and desmocolins are transmembrane proteins that link cells together through interaction with plaque proteins, including placoglobin and desmoplacin. Additionally, desmosomes anchor intermediate filaments to junctional complexes, contributing to tissue stability and resilience. Hemidesmosomes are specialized junctions that anchor epithelial cells to the underlying basement membrane. Integrins, particularly alpha-6-beta-4 integrin, are key components of hemidesmosomes. These junctions provide structural support and transmit mechanical forces between the cytoskeleton and the ECM. Gap junctions facilitate direct cell-to-cell -cell communication by forming channels that permit the passage of small molecules and ions. Connections are integral membrane proteins that oligomerize to form hemichannels. These hemichannels align on adjacent cells to create gap junction channels, enabling the exchange of metabolic molecules and electrical signals. Adherence junctions play a crucial role in maintaining cell-cell adhesion and cytoskeletal organization. Cadherins, associated with cytoplasmic proteins such as beta-catenin and alpha-catenin, establish connections with actin filaments. Through their relationship with the actin cytoskeleton, adherence junctions regulate cell polarity, tissue morphogenesis, and cell migration. Focal adhesions are dynamic structures that promote cell attachment to the ECM and regulate cell migration. Focal adhesion formation involves integrin clustering and recruitment of various signaling molecules, including fake and paxigen. These adhesions link the ECM to the actin cytoskeleton, allowing cells to respond to external cues and drive directional migration. Selectins are carbohydrate binding proteins that mediate cell-cell interactions, primarily involved in the recruitment of leukocytes to sites of inflammation. Three types of selectins, L-selectin, P-selectin, and E-selectin, play essential roles in leukocyte rolling and adhesion. Subsequent leukocyte adhesion cascade involves integrins and immunoglobulin superfamily adhesion molecules. The immune synapse is a specialized junction formed between T cells and antigen presenting cells. This junction enables precise communication and coordination of signaling events required for T cell activation. Adhesion molecules, including integrins and immunoglobulin superfamily receptors, play a critical role in immune synapse formation and stabilization. Synaptic adhesion molecules dictate the formation and strength of connections between neurons in the nervous system. These molecules, such as neuroligins and neurexins, interact with specificity and initiate synapse formation. Synaptic adhesion molecules participate in synaptic plasticity, neurotransmitter release, and neuronal circuit development. Aberrant cell adhesion contributes to cancer progression and metastasis. Altered expression and function of cell adhesion molecules modify cell-cell and cell-ECM interactions, enabling cancer cells to invade neighboring tissues and disseminate to distant sites. Understanding the mechanisms involved in cell adhesion during metastasis is crucial for developing targeted therapies. In conclusion, cell adhesion is a complex and dynamic process that is fundamental to numerous physiological and pathological conditions. Through the 12 topics discussed today, we have gained insights into the molecular machinery and functions of various cell adhesion molecules. Expanding our knowledge in this field has the potential to open new avenues for disease understanding, diagnosis, and therapeutics. Remember, 
the intricate dance of adhesion molecules orchestrates the harmonious functioning of cells within our bodies. Thank you for your attention, and keep exploring the fascinating world of cell biology.